Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix uh, Victoria 3 fail uh, f it is game is not launching on Windows 7 or it is not getting completely able not able to download or it's not launching when you're trying to launch the game and how you can fix this up. So the first step what I wanted to tell you guys is when you are trying if you are trying to launch the game on Windows 7 you have to uh, new you wanted to new this that is if you go to the Victoria 3 on the Steam and if you go over here on the system requirements the OS is it should be at least Windows 10 64 bit right so you can't run it on Windows 7 and if you wanted to have if you are having any launching error then just follow these instructions and the first one that you what you have to do is you just have to do is you just have to uh, do the only one thing that is it's all about you have to do is you have to rename dbg help.d2 file and for that you just have to open the steam navigator library just click on the victoria right click over here go to manage then browse local files now from here what you have to do is just have to select the binaries you have to click over here in the binaries then you just have to go over here as you can see dbg help.d2 file is there so you have to if you're having this trouble then you just have to change this that is if you wanted to change this you have to right click go over here show more options and rename it as is dbg help dot uh, gb uh, dbg help give old then you just have to give it d2 right right now it is being changed to dbg help old dot d2 okay once it is saved you just have to close this and try to launch the game the issue will be completely fixed and if it's still not working the next is all about you have to follow the instruction that is you just have to close this you just have to go over here in the file manager over here i mean just go to this pc now select local disk c and from here what you have to do just have to select sys uh, over here you have to scroll down and navigate to one windows folder uh, just scroll down from here you have to find it if it's not there sys that will most probably it has to be here on windows now if you scroll down you will be able to see the particular folder named this that i'll be giving in the description so you don't have to worry on that so this is this is the folder sysw.wx64 dot wx64 open this now from here once you are opening this then you just have to scroll down and you have to find the dbg file you have to find the dbg so you just have to scroll down and you will be able to find over here in the D you will be able to find the DBG file so just keep on scrolling down a little bit so over here as you can see okay so you will be able to find the DBG over here so just scroll down okay. so you will be able to find okay as you can see we are over here the dbg help dot d2 we found here so this is the file so what do you have to just copy this once you're done with the copy then what you have to do is you just have to close this just go to the steam then select the victoria 3 right click go to manage go to browse local file so where is the, the game installed folder so from here what you have to do is you just have to launch the game and what you have to do is you just have to copy and open the binaries folder now from here you just have to paste it okay once it is pasted you just have to close this and launch the game and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and the next is all about you have to run the launcher installer windows on the paradox launcher for that you just have to follow the instruction what you have to just have to select the victoria 3 from here right click and go to manage navigate to local files select uh, binaries over here sorry you have to select launcher now there is launcher installer windows folder then what you have to do is you just have to right click over here go for show more options and go for install then you just have to install it okay so you'll be getting the option so it is already installed in my case so just go for finish it and you have to launch the game and the issue will be completely fixed and the last and the least one is you have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to right click over here in victoria 3 go to manage go for browse local files go over here in the binaries then you just have to scroll down as you can see the victoria exe file just right click then you just have to go for show more options then go for run as administrator then most probably this will be completely fixed and even after trying if it's still not working you just have to install the uh, paradox latest version so i'll be providing a link in the description so you just have to scroll down and click over here on the windows as you can see once it's successfully installed over here you just have to open this 
then you have to run it now as you can see it is already there so i can't install one more so it's already there in paradox in my pc so if it's not working just install the latest version and after that most probably this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do when you're having issue with victoria 3 is not launching and how it can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye